Hello YouTube! It's me, it's me, it's Michael B. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. And today, we're taking a look at Arcade 1UP Pac-Man Battle Royale, Is It Real? and other crazy Arcade 1UP rumors going around right now. I don't know what it is, if it's hot or just people are bored and waiting for Arcade 1UP to do something, but there's lots of stuff coming out in the rumor mill. Some make sense, other stuff is crazy. We'll go over it right after this. So that's right guys, in today's video we're going to take a look at some of these big arcade one-up rumors that are circling the community right now about possible cabs coming out. We'll take a look at where these rumors are coming from and if you can believe them or not. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much everybody for checking out the video. Guys, I always appreciate the support. If this is your first time to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, all that YouTube stuff. So guys, one of the big rumors making its way around the community right now is Arcade 1UP is posed to release their very own version of Pac-Man Battle Royale. This four-player head-to-head tabletop offering is supposedly coming from Arcade 1UP. Now I know what you're thinking. Great! Another Pac-Man game. Well, it is Arcade 1UP. It's the company that makes Pac-Man and sometimes other arcade games. But this one is a little bit different as this is more of a modern take on Pac-Man that we've seen in the arcades recently. Now you're probably saying, hold on Mike, this isn't the first time I've heard that rumor and you would be correct because Pac-Man Battle Royale, this four player table, was in fact mentioned one time before. It goes back to the leak list that happened towards the end of last year. Just after John D left Arcade 1UP, a list came out to the community that you can see here on the Arcade 1UP Reddit page posted by NeoHyper64. It lists a couple games here, and here it is, Pac-Man Royale, another head scratcher. If you ask me, probably a cocktail stall. Well, it's re rearing its ugly head once again, and a new rumor has come out to say that Arcade 1UP is in fact bringing this one to market. So again, from the Reddit chat, this has popped up in the last couple of days, the four-player versus Arcade 1UP Pac-Man Battle Royal, once again shared by our buddy NeoHyper64 on the Arcade 1UP Reddit page. And where these rumors are coming from are apparently from John D, who previously left Arcade 1UP. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, apparently on the Arcade 1UP official fan page, John D is still a moderator, and he apparently had an Ask Me Anything a while ago, and there's a chat that broke out from this where he's telling people stuff that Arcade 1UP is coming out with. Whether it be true or not, you can go find it there. I don't know. <laughs> I've never ever seen it. I don't know how to get into it. But anyways, he's spilling the tea, and apparently he has told these guys that a four-player versus Arcade 1UP Pac-Man cabinet, Battle Royale, is coming. Now, me personally, I don't think that if they did this, you're going to get the long neck and sign right here. I could definitely see some kind of cocktail or pub table done in this way, and that would be Arcade 1UP's take on Pac-Man Royale. So, is it possible? Yeah, it's, it's Pac-Man, and it's Arcade 1UP, so it's always possible. And it does tie back, of course to that original list that leaked way back when. So this was right here, 2024, Pac-Man Royale, one of the games listed. So it's coming from John D and this official Arcade 1UP chat that's out there. And uh, he, on the Reddit post, you can also see here, let me do this so P-Dub doesn't get mad at me. I gotta make it bigger. Uh, it's not gonna work. But anyways, apparently in this chat, uh, John D spills the tea and tells everybody about this stuff coming out. So you can go check it out from the Reddit page, or if you're better at searching the Arcade 1UP Facebook page, official fan page, maybe you can find the chat for yourself and go check it out. But apparently, this is the source. So that, of course, is the big rumor of the cabinets mentioned. Can, do I see Arcade 1UP doing some kind of Pac-Man four-player battle royal pub table? Yeah, I can totally see Arcade 1UP doing that. That's completely in their wheelhouse. They have a great relationship with Damco, and they love releasing Pac-Man games. It's the license that just keeps printing the money. So I think this is a viable rumor. Will it come out? No one knows. No one has a clue, but it does persist. It goes back to that original list, and it's coming up again. So 
it is highly likely. But believe it or not, that isn't the only rumor that's out there in the community right now. So this popped up a couple days ago. It was a post from Gotham City Arcade. I actually found it in the Arcade 1UP Canadian fan page. Gotham City went and posted there. So this is the post. Apparently this was on Biggie D's channel there the other night. And uh, Bill's Retro Gaming Show was on there as well. And they were basically saying Arcade 1UP. Street Fighter Third Strike coming to Evo 2024. Now, if you go back to that original list that we had coming, and let me blow it up again for P Dubs, we did have a Street Fighter Alpha and Street Fighter 3 in a Legacy Style Cab Deluxe listed as one of those games. So maybe that's where this rumor is coming from. However, on my show the other night, when I did bring this up and talk about it, and I said, guys, like you're talking about a pro model. Third Strike Cab, I mean, I don't think Arcade 1-Up's doing any more pro models because they lost faith after Killer Instinct didn't sell. I was told by Bill's Retro Gaming Show, who apparently was on the show, I haven't seen it myself, this wasn't a real leak or this wasn't a real post. Obviously, that's not something that's coming. Guys, they're not going to do another pro cabinet. I, I would be shocked if they did a pro cabinet and it would be Third Strike. Uh, but is it possible that there's an Arcade 1-Up Street Fighter Alpha or Street Fighter 3 Third Strike cab coming out at EVO? Yeah, absolutely. But I don't think pro. Whatever this is, they took the old Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition uh, demo pro that John D leaked years ago when console kits then went and leaked as well. And they just put the third straight logo on it and they put some stuff here. There's there's no truth to the pro rumor, but going back again to are these games coming, it was one of the games listed as a deluxe and Evo is coming up. So if Arcade 1 Up still has a good relationship with Capcom, I mean, they just released that X-Men 97 Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cab. Who knows? It's possible. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. Now, last but not least, this is the new one that's coming out right now. I know my buddy James Hates Everything has a stream scheduled for Saturday. Cornercade has a stream scheduled for later tonight. He actually asked me uh, to jump on, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. But I did want to talk about this. So now, the new rumor coming out of two new releases coming soon is the big one hitting the fans. And these relate to the actual Costco releases, or at least we think so. And you're asking yourself... Where is this source coming from? Well, if you haven't guessed it, it's coming once again from the John D. Eric one up Ask Me Anything chat. As John has alluded to a couple people in these chat that there's one cab coming out relatively soon that people aren't expecting and he's interested to see the reaction to. And there's another one coming out people can expect soon. From what I've been told, maybe by John himself, these are Costco releases that are going to be coming out relatively soon. Now, believe it or not, one of these rumored cabs is another Miss Pac-Man Galaga Class of 81 arcade, but instead of it being either an XL or a Deluxe, this time it looks like it's going to be coming in a different form factor. What we're being told right now is a Class of 81 pub table is possibly coming to Walmart. If not a pub table, maybe it's a cocktail table or as RK1 up, call them head to head tables, but a Miss Pac Man Galaga cocktail table, which it kind of flies in the face of the rumors of the Pac Man uh, Battle Royale cab because that would also be a pub or a cocktail table. So you wouldn't think they would do multiple of those at the same time. So there's one more of the two new games that are rumored going to be released relatively soon. Oh, this one's my favorite. I can't wait to tell you. In a year that we've been short on releases from Home Arcade Company, there's one thing in 2024 we could always count on, and that is more Golden Tea. That's right. Once again, another Golden Tea XL is coming to Costco, at least if you believe the rumors, this time with a little bit of a twist, because this will be an updated Golden Tea 3D XL cab, this time with a much better screen. But there's a twist on this one as it's going to be a half and half Frankenstein style cab. One rumor that's out there right now is it's going to be half Golden Tea games and the other half Midway games. So yeah, in a weird twist of fate, what people are saying right now is that it's going to be uh, kind of like Class 81 or the Asteroid Centipede Deluxe with 
half golden tea, and then on the other side, it's going to be midway games. Can you imagine, like, a uh, golden tea Mortal Kombat dual cab? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say here. A bit of a Frankenstein. We'll have to see what comes out and what it looks like, but... I don't know what to say. Anyways, you're going to get another shot at Golden Tee in the XL form factor, this time with a better screen, but it's also going to have extra buttons and maybe a joystick, I guess, in order to uh, accommodate the midway games that are going on the other side. Anyways, so it's, from what I've heard, it's going to be a half-and-half half cab uh, with half of it being Golden Tee and the other half being midway games coming out in the XL form factor from uh, Arcade 1-Up at Costco, which uh, I don't know how people will take. Like, a lot of times people like those half-and-half half cabs, like Asteroid Centipedes, that was received really well, and also, um, you know, Class of 81 has been received very well. Me personally, that's not my cup of tea, and especially where I, I'm one of these guys that I want more XL releases, uh, and I want them to be, you know, arcade recreations, seeing something like that, it makes me sad. It might not make you sad. You might be happy as shit. But for me, uh, where I've waited so long for another XL, and I know other XL fans might feel the same way, I want a dedicated release, and I want it to be done really well. So the concept of a half and half with Midway games, it's a bit of a head scratcher for me. Now, in terms of those last two rumors, are they real? Are they not real? Again, you have to consider the source for these rumors, where it's coming from. So once again... These rumors are coming from this Ask Me Anything with John D. And, you know, John is famous for trolling and stuff like that. So maybe he's pulling people's legs. None of this shit is true. Maybe there's no Pac-Man Battle Royale coming. Maybe Costco doesn't have a Golden TXL coming with Midway on it. And maybe there is no Miss Pac-Man Class of 81 Pong Table coming to Costco. So, I mean, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But some of these do go back. To the original list, like you can see right here, Pac-Man Battle Royal, and then again, the Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter 3, uh, not a pro, but a Legacy Deluxe Cab. Some of those are, you know, going back to that original list, so I would say that, you know, if you keep hearing the same rumor over and over again... It's got to hold some weight at some time. And if you look at this right here, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, in the XL format re-release, we didn't get that. But we did get that X-Men 97, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So, I'll go back to this original list, and I, I know people are going to be like, well, you know, obviously the list isn't true. There just, there does seem to be some truth coming out of it uh, with some of these releases, but maybe not in the form factor or not exactly as they're listed here. Like one other thing here is TMT Cowabunga Collection. I was told that this was actually a red hearing and what the cab was always going to be and originally going to be was a Shredder's Revenge cab. So, you know, maybe you can go back to this list and pick it apart and maybe not everything is what it looks like on the outside. So anyways guys, those are just a couple of the big RK 1UP rumors circling the community now. I wanted to talk about it, ask your guys' opinion. What do you think? Are any of these rumors true? Do you believe any of them? And more importantly, would you be interested in buying any of these? Any of these games I mentioned today, like the Pac-Man, Battle Royale, Pub Table, the, uh, you know, Third Strike or Street Fighter Alpha, Deluxe Cab, what about the Class of 81 uh, Pub Table or Cocktail Table, and of course, last but not least, this <laughs> Golden Tea XL um, Combination Cab with Midway Games, is that something you'd be interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. Once again, thank you so much everybody for watching, I really appreciate it. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, tell your friends about me and I'll talk to you next time.